here's an interesting one. Also the same the same year that Ice Cube won at NWA, MC8 versus DJ Quick. Quick. Really? Yeah, man. It was, uh, and I'm from Compton. Again, this is a Compton beef. Exactly. Um, but Dollars and Cents was one of those records, man, where was crazy. Um, I was talking to, I was talking to Problem about about this exact beef and the impact um, of that of that record for Cube. At, I mean, not for Cube, for Quick at that time. And for, for Compton Kid, I remember when it came out, I had a Walkman, a Sony Walkman. I was walking to school across the tracks uh, on, um, you know, Alameda, like down Elm, across the tracks on Alameda, walking to Compton High, and it was Cube, man. It was Cube. I'm going to call you Theo because you weigh 92.3 92. pounds. Whack-ass actor, movie strip killer. Nigga, don't you know? Quick is still the nigga. Compton psycho. Boy, you ought to quit. Your records don't hit and bitches don't jock your shit. You need to stand out, you Compton clown, and get off of the nuts with the niggas with guts because I'm down. with Like, oh. that record was crazy, man. Like, that record was crazy. I still I still play it to, the, uh, to this day. Well, yeah, and remember, Quick was the first rapper to actually claim the gang that he was in. Right. He was the first one to claim being a blood right. on a record ever. Like I just interviewed Robert Ladd, who was partners with Timothy Brennan, AKA Blondie. Right. And Quick had that song where he basically threatened to kill Blondie. Right. But there's a first that says, Blondie, cut no slack. Fuck with me, I'll put a bullet in your back. That's exactly it. Okay. So he's not talking about you, but he's talking about the guy you're with every single day. Right. When Blondie first heard that that lyric, what did he think? Well, he was kind of pissed off. <laughs> you know, he's going, hey, this guy threatening me or, or what? You know? He put a bullet in his back. Yeah, yeah. So he wasn't too happy about it. But um, it was, I think it was years later, he was, uh, we had the Compton Christmas Parade every year. Mm-hmm. And he was one of the main guys. What, what do you call the main guy of the parade? I can't remember him. Uh, but he rides in the back of the car. And, mm-hmm. and and so we saw him. He was at the end of the parade. So we drove up and he was sitting in the car. And me and Tim get out of the car. And and DJ Quick, he, he goes, hey, man. Tim goes, hey, man, you wrote that song about me. What's up with that? Right? And he just started laughing. He goes, oh, Blondie, Blondie, you know, I was just kidding. I put you on the map. Right? Yeah, so... He goes, I didn't mean nothing by it. So it was kind of squashed right right there. So Quick, I feel like because later on, Quick became kind of like the low-key producer, Quick. Right. You forgot how crazy he was early on in his career. I never forgot, man. Quick yeah. has always been, uh, he's always been that guy. And I mean, you do, you 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 heard banging on wax. So you do know it was Bloods banging on wax before Quick. Banging on wax? Are you saying that Banging on Wax came out before. No, I'm saying like Bloods were banging on records. They just weren't. They just ain't make it like as far as Quick made it. You know what I'm saying? So you said he was the first to say where he's from on record, but that's not true. Uh, well, let's, let's look this up. It's actually a good question. Banging on Wax dates. And you know, Quick, that's my banging on Wax came out in 1993. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about that particular record i'm saying the term banging on wax is what we're talking about ah okay sorry so there were there was niggas banging on wax okay like, got it before quick came out like you know what okay I'm saying? fair so enough it is what it is but you know good shot in the dark yeah and quick is my dog but he, even he knows that 